Hey y'all, it's Chell Bands here, and this is my friend Nicole. Okay, um, so yes, okay, the sangria, um, Capriccio, I guess. You know, this is the drink that's um just kind of taking over the nation right now. Okay, you know, a couple of um days ago, I started seeing on Twitter this very picture of this and i was like oh it looks good and everybody was ranting and raving about it and i was like i gotta try that shit mm -hmm. so i reached out to um someone that i know and she said to me she says probably admire okay so lo and behold what why don't you just tell me it was me it wasn't you it was me shelby we was at b dubs listen and i looked it no, up no, listen this is listen okay you did say that but someone on twitter told me this <sighs> Here we go. I can't believe you're going to act like that. No, keep it keep it going. No, I, keep it I spoke going. to someone on Twitter mm -hmm. who said they're not at Kroger, so they're probably at Meyer. And when we went to B-dubs that night, I said that to her. Mm -hmm. And then you went on your phone mm -hmm. and you looked it up and we went to Meyer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, we're about to try these right now. Okay? <laughs> because I've had a drink for like five days and still ain't, and still ain't had it yet. And I hadn't had it right away because... When we when I got the the drink originally it was late at night. The time I got home was late at night. The next day, I was running around. The second day, I was I wasn't really feeling good honestly, so it wouldn't have been a good idea to drink this. Now I'm actually feeling somewhat better today, so I can actually drink it. So we're gonna oh shit think get it. Oh, I smell it too. It smells good. Yeah, oh, fuck I do yours too. God damn. Here, let me see. Yeah, I'm trying it. to record a video here. You never used that before? Hell no. There's a lot of things you haven't done yet. I know. <sighs> I'm struggling. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm. I don't do it. Let me... Hell no. Oh, boy. I just sit and sip. That's all I do. I don't shit. pop tops in that. Damn, thing. I got that shit on me. It spilled on me. My damn leg. My pajama legs. Pajama mm. pants legs. I'm about to try this <laughs> right now. I got sangria legs. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like a margarita. It tastes, um, it tastes very interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's not to die for them, though. It's not, but it's 13.9%. So we'll see how so I'm feeling as this video progresses because yeah. my talking may get crazier. Okay, so we're about to <laughs> delve into, you know, some of the two Jersey Mike subs. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yesterday was a grand opening. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was a grand opening. And the, mm -hmm. prior to the grand opening, there um, was the commercials, and I realized one was coming to Toledo eventually. And then, lo and behold, they, they opened one up. And it's in a very small space. Went in there, line was out the door. So the wait was, you know, a, a decent amount of time. We got up there finally, and the guy instantly thought that we were a couple. But he didn't think anyone else was a couple, but he thought we were a couple. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, then I ordered a turkey and provolone sandwich. Uh, I don't know what she I got. I got ham, turkey, bacon. Okay, all right. And um, <laughs> so <laughs> then we got to the point where I guess they start to dress your sandwich and stuff. And there was a black girl up there. Uh, wasn't very nice. Um, and it was like, I couldn't really hear her. She couldn't really hear me. And it's like, I didn't want to be shouting, you know. And she just was really rude, though. And I'm just like, you fat, <laughs> funky bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, your back row showing and shit. And I then, really... bitch, you going to sit there and... You fuck tough, tough with your fucking apron and shit with your gloves on and shit. And lo and behold, I eat the sandwich. It's not all that. <laughs> it reminds me of Jimmy John's. Okay? Exactly. And um, later that day when I got home, that shit had me fucked up. <laughs> I was shitting the rest of the goddamn night. I was fine. And I was TMI, but you know me. I was fine. <laughs> I didn't have that problem. Yeah, so I like something Something with that didn't agree with, with me. And it's just safe to say I won't be back there anytime soon. Okay, Jersey Mike. I won't be back. Okay, <laughs> no time, no time soon. Okay, we went to Birch Run. It's an outlet mall, premium outlet mall in Michigan. Um, it's, I think it's like going past Flint, Michigan. And um, you know, I was really excited to go. You know, me and someone else was supposed to go years ago, and that never happened. So I had mentioned it to her. I'm down for a trip. And you know, we ended up going. And to really be honest with you, my expectations of of it was um, not not what it I thought it would would no. be. You know, um, I really felt like. Um, the 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 employees and the people are like racist, mm -hmm. and they're really rude. Yeah. Now I'm a really big fan of Adidas, mm -hmm. 
and I knew there was an Adidas store there, and I was so excited to go in there. I went in there, and, and the, the, the salespeople, they didn't even greet me or her. But then everyone that came in behind us got a greeting. That were white. Yes. And I was just kind of really turned off by it. And, you know, I was ready to go in there and spend some bands. I'm like, you know, I was about to, and I was just like, I just got instantly turned off. Yeah. And then, like, going into the Calvin Klein store, you know, the woman, she was really nice. But she kept watching me the entire time I was in there. And I just didn't like that. I felt really uncomfortable. I'm like, bitch, I got money, bitch. That's not, a, that's not an issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to steal anything out of here. You know what I'm saying? But like, every time I turn around, bitch, watching me, she... Yeah. And I'm like, God damn, bitch. I'm like, so people this motherfucking store. You know what I'm saying? Well, these motherfuckers might be stealing. You you looking at me. You know what I'm saying? I was really irritated. Um, we went to Zoomies. Now, Zoomies is here in Toledo. Because that was one of the other things about the mall, the outlet. There was a lot of the stores that was there. Was mall, stores that, a lot of the stores that were at Birch Run are stores that are here at our malls and stuff. I went to Zoomies. And those women were really nice. That was probably, hands down, the best customer service I received. He, we, she went to Michael's Core. She went to Michael Core's and, and bought all these wallets and stuff. And mm-hmm. they were really nice. Soon she came, she's like, "Hi, hi, hi! We got twenty, sixty, thirty-eight percent off." A real you know? So you know, but they were really nice though. They were even nice to me. I should have bought some out of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but them sure. duffels, them duffels weren't on sale, so they were gonna stay on the shelf. Oh, now, if I had my sugar daddy to help me out, then that would have been a little different. Oh, and he wasn't available right now. So mm. yeah, well, I'll talk about that later. Okay, um, <laughs> but um. Yeah, it was just it just wasn't what it was cracked up to be in my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because I didn't tell you this, but um, you know, I did a video you holding secrets. Oh no. I did a video while we were there, like on my Instagram um what? story. You saw those videos, but someone messaged me <laughs> and said, Oh, you know, everyone like that, everyone there is not racist and she you know, but it. right. And, and, you know, but some people are really snobby, blah, blah, blah. So kind of confirming. And this is a, yeah. a white guy who said this, by the way. But there was also another incident. What store was that? We went to Columbia. Oh, yeah. We went in the exactly. Columbia store. And we they had the, 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 the fleeces. They were like $20. Yeah. And, um, you know, they had all different colors. And I'm looking and trying to think which one I wanted to get. And this woman, this man just kind of like bum rushed me. They were customers. They just kind of bum rushed me. It was just kind of like just... Like got right in front of me, like I wasn't even like I was a ghost, like, and just they just they started looking. I know, and I'm like, well, goddamn, y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna say excuse me. I'm just like, this shit is ridiculous. I was just like really irritated, you know. I'm like, damn, my motherfuckers rude as fuck, racist as fuck. I'm like, I ain't going back to my fucking Birch Run. I'm gonna run my motherfucking black ass out of there. <sighs> Facebook Marketplace. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with Facebook Marketplace. Okay, like you can you know sell stuff, you can um buy stuff from people, whatever. There's apartment listings on there. Well, anyway, you know, I wasn't. In, in the process of looking for some used items from from um, some people, like used furniture items, not like couches, but like tables and shit like that, okay? And I had contacted a few people, and they never contacted me back. And I thought it was odd because I think I was the first person to see her listing. The bitch never responded back. And I was like, damn, why ain't bitch ain't responding back? And, you know, um, I hit her up again. Bitch ain't say nothing. And then similar incident happened, and I was telling my neighbor about it. She's like, them motherfuckers are racist. You know, I'm like, you know, because they can see your profile picture. So they see your profile picture that you black, them motherfuckers don't want to do business with you. And I'm like, bitch, I have money to, to, to buy your motherfucking table, your raggedy table, bitch, by the way. It was $30. It was like a bar table, it was a tall, real high up table, two seats. And that was been perfect for me because it's just me. But I was just like, damn, I feel like I need one of my white friends to go bid on the furniture from the white person because they'll sell it to them, probably won't sell it to me. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was just really irritating to me, you know what I'm saying? And then I've even put stuff on there before, and I just got people that was lowballing me. Like, I put some shoes up there that I paid a lot of money for. I paid like $100 for these shoes. And um, I put them up there, and um, I, I had put them up for that same price because I hadn't worn them. And I had somebody come at me and was like $50. 50 And then I didn't even agree to that. But then, like, the next day, he was like, I got 40 on me. What's up? Forty? Well, I, said, I, said, I said a hundred. I've never worn these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers weren't even available in stores at this time. I'm like, are you fucking serious? I deleted that. I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna keep these motherfuckers and you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Facebook marketplace. I feel like mm-hmm. it's like catfish. <laughs> Catfish, the, the, the host, Nev, was accused of, like, sexual misconduct by one of the, 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 the subjects or whatever. Now, to me, that don't sound like something that he would do. But, you know, when people start making these claims, you have to take it seriously because there's so many claims nowadays. You got Bill Cosby, 
drugging motherfuckers are Kelly still dealing with the teenagers and shit and sex calls and shit like that. So it's like you have to take it seriously. But I feel like a person shouldn't make something up like that. Like if 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 you know you're gonna say something like that, it needs to be true. Don't just say that and ruin someone's livelihood, their reputation, their job, or whatever. Because he's like he seems like he's a nice guy, yeah. but that doesn't mean he won't fill a bitch up behind the scenes. Exactly. But it was a bunch of other people that could corroborate the story that nothing inappropriate took place. Hmm. You know. That's what they say. I don't know. I have no idea. It's married to boot camp. Married to boot camp? You mar- marriage boot camp? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I don't watch it, but I, I, I know of it. What about it? Hmm. So, they had like a family one. Uh-huh. And um, this girl, I want to say her name is Amber. Okay. She had like drug problems before alcohol all that mm-hmm. thing. so um she's gonna marry somebody that didn't work out he got there on the show and then in that time one of the people like producing the show mm-hmm. was talking to so they started talking and now oh. they're together okay so that's why like the nev thing uh Oh, well, you know what? That was similar to how mm-hmm. Candy Candy Burris met her husband Todd, because um, mm-hmm. Todd was working behind the scenes at the Housewives of Atlanta, and they end up getting together basically, and they're still together. I think cause they've been together for a couple years. Right. So I mean, I know stuff like that happens, yeah. but but obviously those situations was consensual. Mm-hmm. I think that's the term, right? You know, y'all both agree to the shit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> in that order. Speaking of TV, I'm currently watching this show on Netflix. It's called Evil Genius. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have heard of it, but someone had told me about it, actually. And I just got around to watching. The, I'm, like, on the second part now. I think it's a couple parts. Well, it's about this guy that went into a bank with a bomber on his neck. He was a pizza delivery guy. And um, he wanted $250,000, but I think he only wanted $8,000. Went on the street, had this bomb attached to his neck, and it blew up. He died. Okay. And so it starts this investigation and they kind of um, hit a, a road, some roadblocks. Meanwhile, they get a call from this guy his named Bill Rothstein, or Rothstein and he reports so that, his, that his friend, and he, he is rich, by the way, <laughs> um, reports that his friend that he's known his, his, most of his life, a woman that he dealt with off and on, had a body in his freezer frozen body and it happens to be her ex-boyfriend and it's them going back and forth saying well she did that and she says no he did it Now she's in jail and he's telling his side of the story why she's in jail but she's making collect calls to the news station telling her side of the story okay now that's as far as i've gotten so that's interesting enough right there and what you mean? What you confused about? You listen to what the fuck I just said? I, yeah. Okay, well, listen, you know, you, you didn't have too much no, of that it already. Ain't the same <laughs> Maybe it's the wig's too tight. I don't know. Oh, okay, but anyway. Uh, loose how about you? No, yeah, anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to finish I watching that. Snatched it all. Uh, oh. Mm-hmm. We ain't trying to scare these folks tonight. This ain't Halloween. We stop October and do that shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know you ain't talking about what? I know you ain't talking about what? Come for me. Well, I always come for you, and I mean, stop. Well, don't be embarrassed. You know, it's all in fun. I don't mean too much of what I say. Um, thanks guys for tuning in. Um, okay.